All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning. This is the daily morning update from Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Thank God it's Friday, right? Well, the markets could do with a breather and so could we. Let's get straight to the big news. Equity markets in Asia fell sharply after the worst session for US stocks since 1987. Investors are worried that emergency fiscal and monetary packages won't be enough to stop a global economic recession. The three averages in the US fell nearly 10%. The selling was sparked by President Donald Trump's travel ban and the introduction of fiscal measures that were seen as insufficient. Even a huge injection of liquidity by the US Federal Reserve into the Treasury market didn't serve to calm nerves. According to a Bloomberg story, the Fed said it is offering trillions of dollars in temporary loans to the banking system in coming weeks to relieve strain and that's as investors sell government bonds to raise cash. It will also purchase a broader range of government securities than just short-term treasury bills to make sure that liquidity is adequately available. The European Central Bank was unable to stop the rout in stocks in Europe after it left rates unchanged but it temporarily increased its quantitative easing program and um, also took steps to boost liquidity. It's going to be a rough day of trade in Asia and of course in India as well. Already the Nikkei 225 in Japan is trading lower by nearly 8% while the Australian benchmark and the one in South Korea are lower by over 6% each. The RBI for its part yesterday announced that it will provide liquidity to the foreign exchange markets amid rising volatility and huge outflows from emerging markets including India. The central bank also issued an advanced release of India's current account deficit data, which showed the lowest gap since 2016. Speaking of economic data, India's retail inflation eased for the first time in seven months in February as vegetable prices rose at a slower pace. CPI inflation stood at 6.58% compared with 7.59% in January. Meanwhile, industrial production rebounded in January after a month of contraction. That's even as the economy faces fresh headwinds from the coronavirus outbreak. IIP rose 2% in January and the reading in December was revised to 0.7% from the earlier reading of a contraction of 0.3%. In corporate news, State Bank of India has approved an investment of 7,250 crore rupees in Yes Bank as part of the plan to rescue the struggling private sector lender. The executive committee of the central board has uh, approved the purchase of 725 crore equity shares of Yes Bank at a price of 10 rupees per share. In other news, a parliamentary panel has raised an apprehension that the government may be forcing taxpayers to pay excess advance tax to meet revenue targets when collections are falling short of expectations. You'll find more details in the story on the website bloomberquint.com. And finally, here's an update on the coronavirus COVID-19. France will close all schools starting next week as President Emmanuel Macron calls the coronavirus the epidemic of the century. New York will ban events over 500 people in rules that will apply to Broadway theatres as well. The leading US infectious disease official said the testing system in the country is failing. Confirmed cases raced towards 130,000 with the number of deaths at 4,742. India recorded its first death from the novel coronavirus. A 76-year-old man from Karnataka who had died on Tuesday has now been confirmed as having had the coronavirus infection. There have now been 74 confirmed cases in the country, out of which 17 have been foreign nationals. With that, it's over to Agam Vakil for the trade setup for the day in India. Morning, Agam. How are we looking at the end of the week? Good morning, Alex, and good morning, listeners. There's no better way to put this, but we have to brace for a lot more volatility as we move into trade today. Not only have we seen significant weakness across the globe, 
but the SGX Nifty Futures is indicating a decline of another 7.5%. That said, in terms of a handful of stocks that we can watch out for in trade today, and even though we are expecting a lot of weakness coming in, we do have State Bank of India along with Yes Bank in focus, where SPI has approved an equity investment in Yes Bank under the RBI scheme of reconstruction with a purchase of 725 crore shares in Yes Bank at 10 rupees each. SPI will invest 7,250 crores in Yes Bank and SBI's shareholding in Yes Bank will remain within 49% of the paid up capital of Yes Bank. Yes Bank has been excluded from the Nifty Bank Index with effect from March 27. Bandhan Bank will be the new entrant in the Bank Nifty Index and the replacement in the index is on account of non availability of FNO contracts. In terms of a handful of buybacks, we have Sun Pharma, which will consider one on March 17. And Supreme Petrochem Board has approved a buyback of up to 9.99% equity at 185 rupees a share, aggregating to 63 crore rupees. The buyback price is at a premium of 31% to current closing prices as on March 12th. Now, these are just a handful of stocks that we can watch out for as we move into trade today. But we all know that we are going to expect a lot more weakness as we move into the opening. So stay safe and we will keep you updated with the news with respect to the markets. Thanks, Agam. And as always, thank you all for listening in. This is Alex Matthews signing off. Don't forget to tune in to Bloomberg Quint over the course of the day for all the live updates in the markets and of course over the weekend for some light reading. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladiti Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.